So that is uh, the latest that we have from Uganda with respect to that uh, bombing case. To other matters now, and this should be a very interesting story, a grandmother in Nandi County is giving her children, grandchildren, and her classmates quite some competition as she takes her studies at a boys' secondary school. Yes, you had that right. A grandmother student at a boys' secondary school. Elvis Kosgay tells us more. Singore area in Nandi County. This is where Sarah Chepketer lives with her seven children. Next to this house is a dangerous river, but the loud sound of water flowing does not prevent her from achieving her goals. Inside this house are mushrooms collected by her kids that will be their lunch as she walks for more than two kilometers to school. It's another day, school day. As she makes bold strides towards Kurgung Secondary School, as she answers the questions in her midterm exams, Sarah Chepketer's mind is fixed on a prize which she seeks to reclaim. Here she sits in the midst of male students doing a chemistry paper in the midterm exam. But what really pushed her to be enrolled at Kurgung Secondary School and not to Lua Girls, which is closer? That aside, Chepketer, who is also a grandmother and mother of eight, doubles as a midwife and a herbalist. Mwanzo mwanzo nilikuwa nikiona ni ajabu lakini tulipokaa naye akatuelezea vile maisha iko huko nje ndipo sasa tukajua kuwa si ajabu kila mtu ana uwezo wa kurudi shule na aweze kupita We saw that uh, being a mother learning with the boys it was very very good for us so that we can be able to, to assist her and at the same time the same mother can also assist our boys to be disciplined and also to be hard working kama nimesha pita mtiani wa KCSE ndio ninaenda university. Kwani ninawapea nguvu kwa sababu sasa kama nimekucha shule hivi hao huwa wana wanapenda hata wao watakuwa nao kila mtu tena atasema kama huyu mama wa miaka 45 ameenda shule na mimi je atanimbia wacha nifanye piti niende shule. As the national examinations draws near, Chepketer is determined that she will triumph despite the obstacles she has overcome since 1987 when she dropped out of school. Elvis Kosgei, KT News, Inandi County.